Good morning, everybody. This is Eileen here. Um, so I was thinking, I saw a lot of doll forms and stuff like that, but I wanted to try one with um, toilet paper to see if that worked, just for the fun of it. Um, because I actually did want to make um, some stuff, and I got boy doll. Woohoo! I thought that would be really cool to make some armor or something like that. So, I'm going to grab a paintbrush. I have my spray bottle here and some cheapy toilet paper. So, I'm just going to unravel it. Like, this is one ply. This is really cheap. I think it's one ply. This is really cheap. So, Let's see what we can do for this. I'm just testing it out. I've done some whacked out things with toilet paper before and that astonished me, like the mask and stuff like that. So I thought, well, if that'll work, maybe this will work. So I am going to try to make... I'm not sure how big a piece is I want to cut it to. I'm going to try. No harm done if it doesn't work. So, yeah, that's my theory. And we'll see if it works. I thought, well, it would be kind of cool to make some armor for that guy. Um, I would look cool on a page, or actually, not a page, but uh, on a piece anyways. That would be like, never close that book page. <laughs> Although I have a couple of those journals. So anyways, I'm doing it way too high. I'm just going to wet it like I normally do. Um... And then I'll cut it down the back to get it open. And we'll see how it works. It may not work. It may be just totally bomb. But if it works, I think it'll be pretty neat. So... One thing I do notice that the toilet paper is very pliable, like it does move around a lot if you take it apart when it's still damp, so that will be really good for these if it works the way I want it to. So, and if it doesn't work, like I said, hey, no harm, I kept busy. <laughs> Everyone's still asleep this morning, so I thought, mm, you know how I kind of do that. Everyone's sleeping, I'm going to take advantage of that. Craft. I craft a lot early in the morning and at night when everyone goes to bed. So then I don't... I'm still part of everyone's lives. I'm not totally abandoning everybody. And, um... Yeah. And then I'm not getting bothered by anyone either. Although Carly likes to help me a lot. She was making her own little treasure box thing last night before bed. So we were, I was crafting away here and she was crafting away here. And Daddy was helping her out quite a bit. It's really cute. Daddy was squeezing all the glue out and Carly was gluing all the pieces of paper in. It was really cute. So this is just glue, I mean, uh, glue. Toilet paper and water, just like I normally do with my molds and stuff, so, yeah. I've done, like I said, a mask. Oop, there goes that light twisted right back down. I've done, I have done, 
the mask, that blue mask you guys have seen, and that was just behind a porcelain mask. And then I just did the paper in there. So I mean, it's I've done crazy stuff before, so there's no reason why this shouldn't work. So I'm happy about that. It should work. <laughs> yeah. Um, what was um, I was kind of listening, crafting, and listening to. So I took a. So I got it nice and dry. And I'm going to add more layers to her. Thank you, sweetheart. I just wanted to do a Mod Podge layer just in case. I don't know. I probably didn't need it, but. I need this paintbrush. No, that paintbrush is for something else. You can use your paintbrushes Grandma bought you. And here's your paint. Right there. Oops. Mm -hmm. So I guess Carly's a morning crafter too. She likes to craft early in the morning. Don't you, Carly? Mm -hmm. I was thinking that this would be really cool to put the layer, the last layer, be like the embossed napkin kind of thing. That'd be kind of cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think that would look neat. And I'm not sure where I ended off right there. I'm just gonna. There we go, it's looking so nice. I know I see a lady put saran wrap on there and then um, did a paper mache on the doll. And that's when I'm like, well, why can't I do toilet paper? Because that's a lot more work with the saran wrap and the glue the paper mache is more product to use. I'm thinking using less of our supplies and making more of it. Use you know, getting more out of it. So that was where my You need water. Here's some water, sweetheart. Yeah. Is grandma good at this? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so you are. You're very good at it. Put more water on our girl's body. Grandma, you can put away. You can put that away. No. I need water. Oh, not too much water. Uh, I know. So. I'm just going to continue until I think it's thick enough that it'll hold um, what I'm thinking is a design on like a canvas or something like that as my brain is how it's thinking or even just okay so I'm just going to dry her a little bit right in front of you guys She's quite damp still, but I'm going to throw a layer of Mod Podge on her. 
Just because I can. The muffins Daddy made are on the table. So I'm put the Mod Podge on here and just drying it up. And to the touch, it's well, it's dry, but you can feel the dampness underneath. So now, how am I going to cut it open? Um, I wonder if these scissors will work. I'm just going to gum them up. We'll try with these scissors. <laughs> I don't think these ones will work. Maybe we'll have to use an exacto knife. I want to cut it open before it dries, but... So, I... <clears throat> added glue to the inside or Mod Podge as well and dried it, patched up the back a bit and um, added more glue to the outside. It is very damp right now but it's looking really looking really neat so we could do something with this um, yeah Okay, so I'm going to paint her body black for the moment. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. I'm having a feeling I'm going to go steampunk or something, but I'm not sure yet. Yes, dear. Not until you have your breakfast muffin. <laughs> so, just gonna do her black. I'm really liking black and gold right now, so I think I'm gonna go with black and gold at the moment. After breakfast muffin, you can go on the side, not in the front. Okay. Goodbye. But you gotta wake up the girls first. After your breakfast muffin, though. Sorry. <laughs> Recording. I did patch up the back so she's pretty smooth back here now. I just put a layer of toilet paper with um, Mod Podge and that was it, one patch. So it worked pretty well. So my big thing I want to do now is to clean my craft remote, get it ready for the kids to come in here more often than craft altogether. And, yes, yeah, so that's my big thing I have to do. And when they're doing their schoolwork, too, they can do it in here, too, if I'm crafting. Can I keep track of what they're doing? Here we go. She's all black. I'm going to do the edge very carefully. I don't want the inside black, I don't think. So, I think I want it like teal. For some reason that kind of like is jumping out at me to 
do a teal on the inside. So I might just do that. She's looking good. That's her all black or the body. This is pretty cute. I'm going to dry that. This is it so far. How is this going, Aries? This is it so far. I'm really liking it. It's kind of at an angle. Actually, what I really like about it is it kind of looks like um, like a brass piece or something like that, isn't it? I really like that. <laughs> I wasn't even going for that, but I'm going to do a bit of a dry brush kind of a doohickey on it. See if I can... I don't know. I like that. And this is what it's looking like so far. Can you see how she's looking? I'm that dorky. Mm. But you can't see me. No. Right now. So that's how it's looking at the moment. Very cute. I'm not sure. I'm going to pause it for a bit because I'm not sure here. Okay, so I was playing with my homemade spray here that I made with um, water and green food coloring, the paste, and blue food coloring, like the liquid food coloring. I was spraying inside here. And just make sure what you've gotten. Trying to work here doesn't get sprayed. Because I wanted to do a teal, and I'm like, well, I could paint it, but let's try spraying it first. Since I had the color made in teal. So, I decided to do that. I did spritz my nail polish that's all over here and stuff, so. <laughs> yeah, if you have any art in front of you, just saying. But it's actually. That was the easiest, you know, just spritz it in there, so that was pretty easy. Now what to do with her some more. I have some little teepees or um, molds here. So I might just use those on her. And I think I will. Some of the smaller stuff. There's a heart here. So trim. So I might make some trim on her. So I think that's what I'm going to do with her. This is how she's looking. I'll turn this light off again. This is how she's looking. There's a spray on the inside. It's not too bad. So I'm pretty happy with her so far. So yeah, I decided that I'm going to 
make some of these pieces here for. What's this? For this, I make the heart. Just gonna make a few pieces. Who knows? I might even just make them all. I don't know exactly what I want to put on there yet, so I'm kind of going with it with the with her. I want to do the smallest pieces first to go on her. Her outfit so I'm using the pin for the smallest one a little bit here it actually works really good like I like using it more for the legs of bugs the bugs there the little bee or whatever that is So that's where I uh, find the most helpful. Toilet paper works pretty good in getting up, picking up all the uh, impression. For me, anyhow, I've always had it pretty good that way. So. Add a little bit more to this, whatever this is called. I know there's a French thingy, I think, anyway, <laughs> it could be wrong. Le Fleur, who knows, I don't know. I don't know nothing about that kind of stuff. I don't remember any of that stuff. That crow is really loud. I bet you guys can hear that. Um, so, let's see, I, I don't know. I like using my toothpick too. So, but I like using the pin on the legs. And then again, I use a dryer wipe, push it down in there, soak up some of that water. Gonna do the heart next. No, I totally took all the water out of there. I feel like the tin man there, eh? The little tin lady. Needs a heart. Well, she's going to get a heart. There she is. I like to paint these things after, like uh, with the cocoa brown. Um, cocoa bean, I think it is. I'm not sure. This one's coffee bean. So yeah, coffee bean. And then I like to go over with gold. And then I like to buff it up with a little bit of black. And then that's how I get the colors I like for the steampunky look. Um, like for this gears and stuff like that I got in here. That's how I got these colors for that. And... For the ones for the blue mask that I made. Now if I turn this light off, you might be able to see a little bit more, but I might not be able to see.
And it's kind of important that we always see. <laughs> So, it doesn't take long to do these at all. I think I've been doing it, what, for 5 minutes and 27 seconds, 29. So, and that's just two of them already. I think I'm going to do this one right here. Yeah, I'm going to need the light for this one. I must be just getting older. I can't see. I cannot see. So I usually have a little thing of water here. But um, I just got these spray bottles. I'm just using the spray bottles instead now. Instead of a little container of water. I keep spilling water every time. And don't you know that there's usually an ATC on the table? So when I get those little one ounce cups, I always seem to spill them. I thought, well, I'm just going to use my spray bottle. I just bought two of them for embossing for the conference, so I may as well put them to use now. Carly sure likes to use one all the time. So I'm like, okay then. She adds glue, she adds water. I think she's watching me too much. Thinking she's doing the same thing as me, maybe. I don't know. I'm not sure how many pieces I want to have on the dress form. So I'm just pushing it in with the skewer toothpicky thingy. And just trying to get it so it does take form. So I'm going to show you guys what these look like now. This is um, this one here. Pretty good. heart and this one here I'm actually going to add a little bit more toilet paper or water just to the end here
make sure I have my edges down good. I want to get everything good here. Do, do, do. Music. Where's my music? Oh. The music in my head. So. Here's that one. Looking pretty snazzy. It turned out better than the first one I have done before. So these are the pieces I've got now here and I'm going to dry them really quickly. Um, and then think about adding them to painting them and then adding them to my girl. So I use this um, toilet paper roll thingy that and I dry little pieces like that because they blow everywhere and I don't have a proper tool to hold them in. So that's my little secret of just going crazy in there and blowing them around like that without losing them and without burning myself. So that's what I do. Now these bad boys are... Oh, my stomach just acted up. These bad boys are dry. And, uh, and that was my fast way of drying them. I threw them in here so they don't blow around like crazy. As I am so over picking up my pieces after I blow them off the table. I'm just like, really? That's just crazy. So these are the pieces I'm going to put on, I think. I want to get a ridge here so I could put it along the bottom, I think. And I'm not sure exactly where I'm going to stick some of these. Like, you know, I might do the heart right there. I don't know. But, it will look really neat when it's done. I might put this one on the might put this one on the back. Do like a little what's it called tramp tent? I don't know. It's not really shouldn't be called that, but I don't know why. Anyways, like that on the back. That's cute. Very cute. So when it's painted, it'll look really nice. So I'm going to oops pause the video a bit because I'm going to make more of these. to add to her a couple more and there's no sense putting another 10 minutes on a video for that because that took me 10 minutes to make these three I was kind of looking at the clock there so that's what I'm going to do I'm going to pause the video and make more and see you guys in a bit okay so these are the pieces I made right here. So, um, I'm going to give him a little bit of Mod Podge, I suppose, and then start painting them. I'm not sure if I'm going to add any more pieces, but for now I just made these. And yeah. Happy with these. Happy with these. My key didn't quite detail didn't quite turn out the way I wanted it, but I don't know if I'm going to use it anyway. Ah. I keep dropping it. Good 
gonna be a long video this time, but it's a good thing I cut out all the drawing parts so it'll be totally forever. Take forever. So I like to mod podge them just a little bit. That's what I do. This one is the last one I just made, so it's a little damper, but it'll all work. There are my pieces. And now I'm going to dry them quickly. So I decided, oop, I decided to paint a little black on my heart. And then I'm going to paint a little red on my heart. And a tad of gold. So I'm going to go in with the black on my heart and my heart as right here. I've decided just to do a little bit different one on the heart because I want it to be um, a little different. I want a little red in it. Just the heart to be a little different. There she goes. black on my did I get pink on my shirt I think I did more black it's going like this so I don't blow it everywhere if it does move like it just did, it moves and it's the side, doesn't block my paper. That drives me absolutely crazy when I'm looking for pieces. Crazy, 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 crazy. Now I'm going to go a little bit of red. See, it's not going to be that red. It's going to be. And then with the gold on top, I think it's going to be really just really nice. Ah, flipped it over. I flipped it over.
pretty good. This is my red little heart with a little bit of gold on it. Oh, it's going to be a lot of gold on it, but it's going to look good. Very pretty heart. Very pretty. Maybe a little more red would do it because it does look pretty. Could just buff a little red on top. I don't know. My fingers want to stick to it. They do. Put a little bit black on it, a little bit of um, red. I'm just trying. I'm not. I don't know. I'm just trying to get the right consistency. Cons yeah. Ooh, I think I like that one. Might need a little more red though. Sometimes it's hard just to have the right color that you want. So I keep being persistent. This is the heart. I don't know if you can see the color that I'm going for, but. Just a slight red tinge. I like it. Uh, pretty soft, so kind of like that. Can you see the difference there in the color? I like it. And so the heart shall go right there, I think, somewhere. I think that's where the heart's going to go. So I'm going to glue that heart right there. Time to refill. Kind of below the breast a bit to the center-ish, more on the left side, and that's her heart, now, now I'm going to paint the rest of these guys and um, stick them on. So I started painting this one I thought well I'm doing the brown coffee bean background on this one so I'll just show you how I paint most of my steampunk stuff is kind of like this with the background being the, cho the coffee bean Starting 
off with the bottom trim here. This is the one I'm going to put in the bottom. Kids are being a little loud in the bath. So I'm going to dry that. Then I add the gold. And the black's the buff on this one. And that's how I do most of my steampunk um, pieces. It's exactly like that layer of paint. The cocoa, coffee brown, or the coffee bean. I keep saying, thinking cocoa bean, but it's the coffee. <clears throat> and then the... Um, And then the gold on top, and then I like to bubble it up a bit. So, I love working on the glass because it cleans so nice and easy. So, so far I'm enjoying that part. Then I'm going to dry her up. Then I just buff a little bit of black on it. And that's how it works. It's looking good. Then I add a little bit more gold on top. The kids are being way crazy. That's Carly and Cora. And that's how I do it. Just like that. And I just want to show you a little bit of that to I don't know if I actually showed you the painting process of that before. And now I don't really have to do it again. I could just fast forward over it. So that's that. So now I'm just going to paint the rest. So the trim piece here, I just decided, because it looks matches it so well, that I decided to kind of add some copper uh, sharpie to it to make it a little bit different. So just adding that to the video here. I'm using the, the Sharpie. Oh, light. The Sharpie to uh, add the redness, the copper, so then it's a little bit more different than the form. Okay, so here is my done girl. Um, and 
and I thought less is more this time for particularly for her um, I just didn't want to go too crazy for the first time I wanted to show more of her silhouette of her body or whatever you want to call it mold 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 anyway so this is her my Barbie's uh, copy of her body and I'm gonna make the guy one two but yeah so here's her heart and I put it right here I thought that was kinda cool it reminds me of Blizzard of Oz you know the tin heart type of thing the trim and this is the back I have the piece back here and it's a little bit on the coppery side I put copper sharpie on that as well so it's just a little different than the dress is just the gold and the black so and I did spray the inside with the teal green which I really like and instead of painting it I just sprayed it which I think turned out really nice and that's that. That is the toilet paper. So I'm really happy with it. Um, yeah. I'm going to do different ones. I want to do um, ones that more, look more like corset. That's the word I was looking for before. It looks more like corset. But this one I just kind of thought I wanted to do a little, a teeny bit of a steampunky look. But uh, also I was really thinking more of like the you know the Wizard of Oz a Tin Man thing so maybe it'll be like Mrs. Tin Man you know oh, but the heart thing that's really what I wanted to do when I saw that heart I'm like yeah I'm gonna put that on it you know she has a heart she went to the Wizard of Oz and so and I like I said I thought little less was more this time and if I get Lil gears or something like that that would be really cool to put on there and I didn't want to put like the huge pieces that I have of gears and stuff so yeah I think this does a really nice look to it and like I said it's all toilet paper I did do a layer in between of Mod Podge dried it and did some more layering just to make sure and then the top layer was mod podged and then painted. So, yep, I'm happy with it. So it's my first one. I think I'm gonna do a bunch of different little ones, but um, maybe I said I was gonna do a bunch of different other little things, but you know, I don't know if I like doing the same thing twice. <laughs> but I, that's what I mean. I have to do a different design. I want to do more steampunky, like with the gears and everything too. I want to get something small enough to go on there and I don't know if you can get molds that small molds so I think I might just have to go buy one of those little steer punk uh, sets to do the little inside the they have them so you can do little watch pieces inside the necklace type of thing or whatever a pendant so I might just do that for the next one and do a little but I'm going to do him next and then have kind of a matching couple so I think that'll be cute him and then her what I'm going to add them to or if it's just going to be a piece like this is that's not, I'm not sure about that yet but that is her and um, I mean I can go really totally opposite and do a real nice Victorian one I think and find the paper and stuff that I like and maybe even do the um, paper that is um, in, um, embossed or whatever on it but I don't want to use I only have three different um, designs so I want to find a nice um, Victorian design or something so I didn't really want to do the embossing one until I got the one I wanted yeah so there she's done so I'm going to work on him make him a matching pair and they're going to be side by side Give him a heart, and then 
Yeah. I think that's really cool. Well, thanks for watching, guys. I hope it wasn't too long for you, and I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.